Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm and we are back again with another video to help you on your journey with Caternix quail and becoming more self-sufficient. In this video, we are going to continue our uh, playlist on all about the colors and today is a uh, video about a color that I promised I would do this week uh, from last week's live Q&A and we are going to talk about the German pastel. Whew. This male is not happy I picked him to show. Uh, so we're going to talk about the German pastels. Um, so it's a German pastel collection. I'm going to get into a lot of things such as average weight, average, um, I don't know, average hatch rate on shipped eggs, average egg size, how to sex them, what they look like. But I'm also going to go in what you can get from them uh, because this I would mark as the fourth most important uh, quail to have on your farm. Um, especially if you're running a business uh, and trying to make some money off of it. Now I'll explain all that as we go along. Now, if you like this video, if you get something out of this video, if you enjoy this video in any way, please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you find this video annoying, bad, or gross, I don't know, uh, hit the thumbs down button just so I know. I'd really appreciate it. Also, hit the subscribe button for me because every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we go live right here on our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm, for a live Q&A. I cover topics, uh, I do an egg availability, letting everybody know when eggs will be available on our website if they are sold out currently, um, and we have a lot of fun on there. Um, so check that out every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But without further ado, let's get into the German pastel collection. So this is one kind. Um, they're very tricky as far as whether telling male from female. Uh, so for example, there we go. One is a male and one is a female. Obviously this one's the male because he's being difficult, but you can also tell by the dark head, but that is not very um, consistent. Everything is a little bit different. So they're very different in color. Um, they're kind of like the SSCs, the Schofield Silver Collection, which we've already done a video on, um, as far as so many different color varieties that come out of it. So this one is kind of a darker one. Uh, I can tell that it's a male because of the head, but I would still, uh, we still vent sex all of the German pastels. Now, just like the silvers, the silver, Schofield Silver Collection, we have one that is feather sexable, and that is the Silver Pharaoh. We've mixed the silver with uh, wilds, and uh, we've crossed it and did a couple other things. Anyway, we've been able to get a quail that is feather sexable in the silver color, but we can't just breed that quail together um, because there becomes issues, which is why we put it in with the Schofield Silver Collection. Collection meaning you get many different color varieties from that, okay? So this is another kind. This is a hen, and this is the one hen of the uh, German Pastel Collection that is feather sexable. You can kind of see on the chest that it has a marking. The males on that marking is just a plain brown chest. Again, it's inconsistent. It is just one of many color varieties you can get from. Uh, this would be, I would say, a medium body. Um, so it's not too light, but it's definitely not as dark as the last one. And I'm gonna show you one more before we get in all the content. And that is the male of the exact one I just showed you. So this is the male. As you can see, it's a much darker brown chest, a little bit darker of a head, same kind of uh, body on the back, you know, kind of a medium. Uh, but they come, I would say, about eight to 10 different color varieties of Germans. Um, and we've got a lot of pictures on our website that, that can show you that. This quail was not happy with me. So that is the show and tell portion. Let's get into some of the uh, specifics uh, that we have gathered together throughout the years. Um, but stay tuned because at the very end, I'm going to show you what you can get from them, which is absolutely amazing. Okay. So we've talked about what it looks like. The male female difference. We really do recommend that you vent sex them between six to eight weeks old. Uh, there's some that we can 
feather sex at about four weeks old, um, but even then I don't take a chance on it. I still vent sex them. Uh, so that's what I recommend with that. Um, average weight at full maturity, which is 10 weeks old, is between eight and a half and nine ounces. I could get those a little bit larger, but I mainly focus on getting more varieties with them, such as the silver collection. Um, the egg size is between eight and nine grams, so it's a standard size quail, um, but it's a very unique quail uh, as far as the color patterns and the variety that you would get when you hatch them out. Uh, hatching true is about 80 to 85 percent. The reason I say that is because there's so many different varieties, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, but you will get other things out of it because we, we blend them together with other things to get different varieties of the quail. So you would get Tibetan and wild. Uh, we've gotten a couple golds before, uh, Italians. Um, we have put them together twice with silvers, and uh, we will not do that again. Uh, but you could maybe possibly get a silver out of it. We're trying to breed that out. Uh, that was a horrible decision on my part. I apologize. Um, but uh, we've pretty much got all that out. I think in the past year we've hatched out like two silvers, so it's pretty much gone. Um, and obviously we don't use those. Uh, so you'll get a lot of different colors. Um, how to get the color? You kind of need to start with it. Um, it's the German Pastel Collection, uh, so you kind of you can't just hatch it out with crossing this, this, and this. Uh, you kind of have to have that gene. Uh, the main gene that's in there is the feed gene. Well, if you cross the German pastels with, let's say, golds, eventually you'll get pearls. The feed gene with Italians are pearls, and we've already done a video on that, I do believe. Um, crossing the feed gene with wild type would give you fab fees. Crossing the gene with Tibetan slash Rosetta, mainly Tibetan, uh, would get you the growl fee. Uh, slash uh, the fee gene crossing with the pansy would get you the pansy fee. Now, obviously, it is not as simple as that sounds. There's many different steps. Uh, it usually takes us about nine months to a year and a half uh, to get something the way that we want it. Um, and there's a lot of crossing. There's a lot of in inbreeding, crossbreeding, outbreeding, there's just all kinds of breeding. Uh, so it's a lot more complicated than what I make it sound, so be careful with that. Um, now, another great attribute of the uh, German pastels is the average lifespan, uh, as far as production goes, is two years and one month. Um, and then the, the kind of standard, I guess, would be two years. I more find it around one year and nine months uh, is kind of the standard, but this one uh, is actually our third longest lasting producer uh, at two years and one month. Uh, and they average between 290 and 305 eggs a year, um, 305 the first year, 290 for the second. Um, so they're very, they're very long lasting quail and they're very productive. Um, Obviously, it carries the feed gene, so it's amazing to breed with to get all kinds of different colors, uh, which is a whole lot of fun. Uh, and the average ship, ha average hatch rate on the shipped eggs of our German pastels this year is 73%. Um, so I really like the German pastels. So if I had to pick um, the top four options that I would pick, um, if I could only have four different varieties, uh, number one would be the Jumbo Wilds, by far. They're going to be the largest. They will always be the largest. Um, they're, they're traditionally bred for meat and eggs. You're not really looking that much for color, a little bit, but not very much. You're mainly just the biggest ones. So Jumbo Wilds would obvi obviously be first. Uh, the second, in my opinion, um, would be a mix. Uh, rather, rather, it's the feather sexable mi mix, which I really, really like for new people um, because you're getting a variety of colors, which is always fun, um, but they're all feather sexable, uh, so it's a very easy starter. Um, or it's a rare mix, so you're getting a bunch of different colors. Our last winner uh, for the 18 and under contest, I sent him a box of rare eggs for the win. Um, 
because that's, you know, no one else around him had those rare colors, so he wants to stand out with those rare colors. Um, and you get a, a bunch of varieties and you can work a lot with those. Um, or just the traditional uh, variety choice on our website. The reason I like those is for the same reasons. You get a variety of, of uh, colors and you can kind of pick and choose what works best for you, what you like, what you don't like, what people around you like. Uh, because remember, if you're going to be selling any eggs, chicks, adults, or anything like that um, to try to have them pay for themselves or make a business or whatever, it's not just what you like, it's what the surrounding area likes as well. Um, so that would be my second choice. My third choice would be obviously my favorite, the SSCs, the Schofield Silver Collection, and then the fourth would be the German Pastels. Now the SSCs and the GPCs would be for the exact same reasons. The variety of options that you get. So for the silvers, you get silver and golds, you get silver pharaohs, you get charcoals, uh, you get lights, you get, you get a variety, just like these. Um, we don't have different names for the Germans as I do for the silvers, um, but you do get, you know, you get very dark, kind of like a charcoal, but not quite. You get the medium bodies, you get the lights, uh, you get some that are feather sexable, um, you know, you get some with markings, some with no markings. Uh, they're just, they're really fun to work with. Uh, and they produce the Fijian, which you can just expand on that uh, to get pearls and fab fees and grau fees and pansy fees and all kinds of fees. Uh, so they've been a really, really fun thing to work with. Uh, we originally got the German pastels from JMF, um, and uh, we took it from there as far as uh, getting the pearls and, and all the other fees. We worked with the German pastels alone to do that, um, and uh, I'm very happy with them. So that is pretty much all the information. I think I have bored you enough. Remember, every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live. So if you have any questions about the German pastels or any color, feel free to join me on our YouTube channel, My Shire Farm, and I would happy to be happy to see you there. Thanks, stay safe, and God bless.